So, Hand Show was nice enough to send me out this 5.16 uh, centered rear display. I wouldn't call it rear. A uh, display for the center console area dashboard. Uh, and it's pretty nice. It does it does exactly what it's advertised to do. Is there anything on here that you need? No, you can get to it all from your display over here. But it's just nice to have it in front of you in a manner where it's literally right in front of you. You can see it. You don't have to look at it that way, this way. It's, it's right there in your viewing angle, so that's wonderful. I like a bunch of things about it. I'll get into it after I show you how I install this. But first and foremost, Handshow is having a 2023 Easter sale. So go to their website, pack that card up, use code JTheDev at checkout, and you will get a certain amount off. It does change from here to there. It's at least 20% off, I believe, at times, but it could be up as 30, 35%. Who knows? You got to go there, try it out, save some money, get these devices that they sell, because uh, they can really uh, enhance your Tesla. So let's get into it. Let's press rewind real quick and go back in time and see this install. So Handshow was nice enough to send out this unit for us to go ahead and install and take a peek at. It is, I believe, 5.16 inch screen that sits above your steering wheel over the o or i should say taking out the oem cover right there and replacing it with this one and it just adds a little bit of functionality to it hooks right in plug and play really easy install so i'm actually going to install it now and walk you through it so the first thing you have to do is you got to pop this piece off right here and then also on the other side so you can get this piece off which we're going to do right now let's get it off all right, so that was extremely easy to do. You just kind of lift up and then it folds out from here. I put mine back there in the back seat for safekeeping. And uh, we're gonna get to the next part, which is taking this piece off and then this piece. So we're gonna start by getting rid of some of this weather strip. This literally might just hand pop off easily. Look at that. And we're gonna go ahead and get rid of this pin right here. Pop this off. We'll be able to get to where we need to get to. All right, so surgically, we removed that, very easy to do. There's another pin right down here, same kind of little pop pin, take it out, then we're gonna fold this back. I might be able to just get this off real quick. Nope, tried using a nail, don't break your finger doing so. Look at that, one-handed, get rid of the pen. And we're gonna have to move this back up here. And we need to expose this right here. Mine already has something in it for my automatic presenting door handles. So, what Handshow was kind enough to reach out to me and tell me that I needed to get a jumper for it so I could plug in multiple, as this will open up four more spots. Yep, four more spots. So what do we do is we're gonna unplug that one, plug this in, then we better plug that in for my auto presenting door handles and the new one. So let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so I got rid of well, I should say unplugged what was there, which is for you, I failed to mention, if you don't have anything installed on yours that needed to take this area up, that blue thing will be empty. It's just plug and play for you at that point. For me, it wasn't because I have another thing hooked up, so I needed a jumper. So if you do have something that needed that port at one point, you will need this jumper. But if not, like I said, it'll just be there sitting open for you to use. So go ahead and use it. I'm gonna plug in my door handles as well as the new wire that I need to run and we'll get going on that one too. Here we go. All right, so next I gotta jump this, which actually comes with a jumper already attached to it. So we're gonna unplug this part right here and we're gonna go ahead and plug this in and it'll jump it. No, I have a Ryzen chip Model Y performance. If you didn't, you'd end up just using this one for your computer, I believe it is, for the Intel. Don't mark my word, but I think so. I think that's how that works. But in any case, I'm just gonna go ahead and do it because I'm a Ryzen model, so this is the way I'm doing mine. Apologies if you have an Intel, this might be a little different for you. So let's go ahead and jump that. All right, so we are all jumped in there. I did plug it in and test it. It did light up over there. So we're gonna go ahead and run this cord and the way we gotta do is we're gonna tuck all this wire away and then we're gonna run this up. They do say to go under here, run it up and all that. I'm just actually gonna do 
it this way up through here probably tape it along here with some electrical tape that i brought over and then just run it to that which we'll get to next so let me run that wire see how it looks go from there all right as you can see i taped it down i'd say about every i don't know five six inches or so all the way down i don't think it's going to wiggle much if it does i will just pop it off and make it i'm going to definitely tie this one down here as well I believe that's the clip to it. This is an auxiliary clip that does something else. I'm not sure what. Read a manual, we'll find out, but for now we don't need that. So let's go ahead and pop this off and get it all buttoned up. All right, so we popped off this factory panel. Pretty easy to pop off. I might have scratched mine a little bit right there, warped it out. I bet this thing is 20 bucks from Tesla, though they don't really charge a lot for a bunch of their parts. Uh, some they do, some they don't. Um, actually, I had to replace those that were white um, before I got the carbon fiber ones, and those were $37 a piece. So that tells you. That piece right here, uh, 240 But so just shows you how they're weird like that with their prices. So in any case, you got to pop this off the back, which rests in here, I should say, it rests in here. And we're going to hook it to the new one and go from there. So... I will make note of it afterwards. This part right here kind of tucks into it strategically. So just be aware of that. And uh, let's go put this piece on. So super easy to get back on, but it's just those clips. And that little part right there is what I was referring to. You can see this little clip right here needs to fold over. Boop, that's my fold over. Fold over and over that. So it'll fit in there nicely. And uh, let's hook it all up. See how this thing looks. All right, so we're pretty much buttoned up. As you can see, it's on, it's working. I have the settings played with a little bit. The wire runs right under here. You can barely feel it. I doubt you'll be able to see it at all. And just goes flush. Taped along here as I showed you. Down through here. Tucked it right under here, this lip, and then here it is. And now we gotta just hide this monstrosity of a rat's nest. Wish me luck. Here we go. Mission successful. It wasn't actually that bad to hide. So, pardon the sun glare on everything, but I'm gonna go ahead and put this back. I just ran it down through here. Just there's a little pocket under here you can actually hide things in, so that works out pretty well. Let's kind of put it along this area up here. There, cool. Let's button it up, get it all back to normal. So here is the final install pardon the glare off the sun but it does look pretty good this is the ui number two you can set your uh settings up to show a different ui if you'd like uh just press the button scroll right to the right for a couple seconds it'll come up and then you just go through it accordingly you can change the temperature celsius fahrenheit do your time zone correctly theme auto which is a uh, dark and light mode uh, or auto. I left mine in auto. I'll show dark mode at night right now for a second, as you can see. Also, you do a PS PSI versus bar. Uh, the can, I'm not sure what it does, but when it did change, it was, it showed the, the brights, not, it showed the icon, but the brights didn't go, the, like the icon didn't go away if it was off or on. So I just left it at two mileage uh which is a kilometer versus miles english 12 hour format and here's the ui you can change it to one which i'll show or you can do a plaid animation as well i have that off i will put that on so i can show you in a minute right here you can see it that's when plaid is going on when you accelerate it shows it it goes away after a second so let's see the ui for one as you can see, it's a little different. I think it looks pretty much just the same as over here when you're driving. So what I am going to do is actually uh, change it back because I like the UI2 better. So let's change it back to UI2 just because it's a little different. And uh, what I do like about the UI2 as well is you can see down at the bottom here, let me get close up. It shows 
at all times the amount of space you have in between. Sometimes we mess up and we, and we change it. On the regular UI over here, it goes off after a few seconds. And then, you know, it, what if you're at two and you don't know that? So over here, it actually shows it down below at all times accordingly. Also, it does show your battery and your range at the same time, which is nice. Uh, the PSIs will work when you're driving. Um, pretty cool. It's, I mean, it's, it, is it 100% useful and needed? Absolutely not. I like it because you can see right through the steering wheel at it. This item, again, does have a code for it. You can use J the Dev at Hand Show's checkout. Save some money. They are having an Easter uh, sale right now going on. Not sure of the exact amount. I'll put it in the description at the moment, but it will change obviously after this video is getting a little bit older. So if you're watching it in six months, it'll be different. But that being said, please like, subscribe, say hi, comment below, harass me, say what you want to say, and uh, enjoy me on the next video I do, which I think is going to be talking about that thing I did. Do you like it? Thumbs up if you want to see that video. Have a good one.